We have a lot coming up tonight. We start with breaking news. Boeing has just released a trove of documents pertaining to 737 MAX training. Good evening, I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. Now this comes as Boeing's most important aircraft remains grounded after nearly 10 months. King 5 Aviation Specialist Glenn Farley is going over them now. And what have you seen so far? Uh, just a sample so far. This is it. This is the trove that was released. This is actually heading to two congressional committees. It was also released to uh, a number of members of the media tonight. I want to get right into this. Here are some quotes out of this. This pertains to a lot of the training. Quote, and all the employee names have been redacted here. I don't know how to refer to the very, very few of us in the program who are interested only in the truth, but it's mostly depressing it has been so few. Another quote, blank referring to an employee is probably the best person to talk to if you have reservations. Mine are grave at the moment and I won't stand for you or another person being thrown under the bus. And finally, and there are many more beyond this, I'm not hopeful, but the FAA inspector was briefed by an employee and was negative from the get-go, whining about the number of DRs, not being Boeing quality, etc. But this is what happens when people fold when they should stand firm. Integrity should not be cast aside when pressured. Now, why is all of this stuff coming to light? Well, here you see these are the families uh, of the victims who died aboard that Ethiopian jet back on March 10th. This was the Senate Infrastructure and Transportation Committee, which in late October, along with the Senate Transportation Committee, heard from now departed Boeing CEO um, uh, Dennis Mullenberg. This is the committee. Peter DeFazio of Oregon is the head of that. He said tonight, quote, uh, these newly released emails are incredibly damning. So we can expect a lot more on this. We'll have a lot more on this on our other shows tonight. Meanwhile, we have roughly about 800 airplanes, the 370-ish that were grounded the day of the grounding on March 13th, finally, and then what has been built since, all of these on uh, Moses Lake, San Antonio, hmm. here, you name it. You, I know you haven't had- flag and we don't know. I know you haven't had a lot of time to go through many of these. We, we were able to put a few up there, but as you look at some of these, and as with the amount of knowledge you have about this subject, what, for people who only pay attention to this, you know, here and there, what is this telling you? Well, there's a lot of salty language. Boeing saying a lot of this did not meet their standards. So this, the, 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 you know, and this was a lot of like text messages between mm -hmm. various employees. They are pilots, test pilots in this program who were working up in the simulators, trying to come up with the training for the airline pilots that would eventually fly these airplanes. All right, more to come on this. More to come. Yeah. Glenn, thanks.